So today's date is 124.22, and the title is percent change. Okay, percent change. So we're going to be dealing with percents today. Major, so let's write this down. We want our date and our title always in our notes. Am I annoyed? Did you have this written down? Yeah. Yay. Okay, so let's begin. On Sunday, the laptop cost $500. Today, it is on sale for $350. What percent, that's an E, that's a C, percent change is this question mark? Write this down. Every Different than the problems we did last week because... I don't give you the percent. I give you, Adriana, what it used to cost, what it costs now. And I'm asking you, are you saving 50%? Are you saving 20%? Angel, we're here, nowhere else but here. What percent am I changing? That's the question I'm asking you. This is the first time I don't give you a percent. What do you think? Is it 40%? Close, but not 40. All right. So, there is a way, Randy, and everybody to do this, to always get a correct answer. It's a formula, kind of like the area where we did length times width. In this problem, we're going to do new price minus old, Randy, write this down, price, new price minus old price divided by old price so your new price minus your old price divided by your old price so this is the formula that we're going to be using today we're going to figure out okay what's the new price what's the old price divided by old and you're going to use your english skills today a lot what do i mean you should know the difference between past tense like it already happened, present tense, like it's happening, and then future tense, it will happen. So in English, you should have learned past tense, present, and future. And I'm going to need that for math. So in your word problem, let's read it again. On Sunday, the laptop cost 500 Today, it is on sale for 350 so of 500 and 250, one of them is your old price that already happened, and one of them is your new price, that price that's happening today. So the 500, is that an old price or the new price? Old, on Sunday. So Sunday already passed, right? So let's circle that. And let's write an old in that circle. 500 represents your old price. And this is very important. You have to be able to recognize what's new, what's old. All right. So today, hello, today, it is on sale for 350. So 350 would be considered your new price. So let's circle that and write the word new in your circle. Okay, now let's use our formula. New price minus old price divided by old price. So what's the new price? 350 minus my old price of? Good, Emmanuel, let's write this down. We shouldn't be anywhere near our phones. What is the bottom number? 500. Our old price, 500. Minus 
500. Well, really? Is it though? Is it? It's really not. It's really, it's really negative 150 over 500. But what I didn't tell you, but it's important, there is actually an absolute value. What does that mean? It means that your answer will always be positive. So Ruben, we're going to write the absolute value bars so you know. And all that is, no big deal, it just means it's positive. It just means it's positive, okay? When you do get a negative answer here, that means that the price went down. It's a decrease. Um, but we do want our answer to be positive at the end. So we do have these bars. They really don't do anything other than tell you if it went up or down. Okay? All right. Um, excuse me? Would this help in any situation? What do you mean? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Taxes. Yeah. Percent change. Because it looks just like you're just trying to find a percent. My percentage on my spots are going down. Like, if someone's trying to sell you something yesterday for 100 bucks and today they sold it for 200 what percent change is that? You know, they're like, oh, I only increased, the, I only increased it by like 20%. And you're like, well, from 100 to 200 that's not 20%. But you wouldn't know that unless you knew how to do this. All right. Um, I'm going to show you the easy way of doing this. Now, does the easy way always work? No, but when it does, <sighs> happiness is here. Yes. Today we're going to focus on easy way. Tomorrow I will show you how to do it a little bit harder, but it's fine. Okay, take your fraction, 150 over 500. Okay, I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. Question, what are percents always out of? When you take a test, what percent do you want to get? 100, right? So percents are always out of 100. So we're going to set this equal to a denominator of 100. This is the shortcut way. Denominator is your bottom number. So if you can set it equal to 100, do it. All right. How do I go from 500 down to 100? Five. Do I multiply or divide? How do I make a big number smaller? Divide. Multiplying or dividing? Divide. Dividing. So I'm going to divide 500 divided by what is 100? Five. Five. Very good. So guess what I'm going to do on the top? Divide by 5. You want to make sure you're writing these notes down. This little division sign, this division sign. So when you go back, you look at your notes, you're like, oh, that's right, she divided. That's right. Over so 150 divided by 5 is 30. So what percent is 30 out of 100? 30%. No. 30%. No. 30%. 30%. This is your answer. It is 30% decrease. Yes. The other way is long division. That one was hard. I'm gonna get lost like something. Well, we're focusing what? on this, Randy. <laughs> All right. So, how much of the per the price changed by? Thirty percent. How much am I saving on the laptop? Thirty percent. Last week I told you you're saving thirty percent. What's your new price? Today, I tell you what the new price is. You got to tell me the magical percent. All right, let's do another one. The pair of Jordans. What color? Multicolor. What year? 94. Have they been worn by someone? No. All right, the pair of Jordans were on sale for 250. Now, they cost $300. What is the real deal? Yes. What is the percent change? All right, write it down. 
write that down. All right. Okay, so the formula is new minus old divided by old, right? Mm -hmm. I like to sh uh, write it shorthand of no, no. N O N O. No. No. Right. Because sometimes kids forget, like, what's the number at the bottom? Is the number at the bottom new or old? And if you don't put it in the right spot, the whole thing's wrong. So I like to abbreviate it as no, no. Yes. Change, C H A N G E. That's a G. The good thing is that you're seventh graders, and when I say it out loud, you can just write it down. You're not copying word for word, are you? Okay, new, old, divided by old. Yes. So the pair of Jordans were on sale for two fifty. Now they cost three hundred. So what is my new price? Were now. So which one's my new? So right, circle it and write N for new or new. Now, as in today. Now, present tense. That's new. Old. Were. That's past tense. They were. You were 10 years old. You were. It already happened. This is old. So were, circle, you need to circle. Write the word old. New. Because you have to be able to figure out um, which one's new and which one's old. Yeah, the nose. Got to cover the nose. Okay, so what number do I write down first? 300 minus 250 divided by? Good. So first thing, can you plug in the numbers? Correctly, in the right spot. Plugging in your numbers all has to do with English, not with math. What's the new price? What's the old price? So that's not math. That's just making sure you know how to read this and understand were is past tense and now is present tense. All right, now we do some math. What's 300 minus 250? 50 over 250. Okay. This is a fraction that I got to turn into a percent. Now, there is an easy way to do this. All right. No. No. Do the math. Okay. Can I set it equal to 100? Can I turn 250 no. into 100? No. Nope. Right? Doesn't work. But if I cross out these zeros by dividing by 10, I'm left with 5 over 25. Does 25 go into 100? Yes. Twenty-five goes into one hundred. How many times? Four. Four quarters is a dollar. Write it down, Randy. So what percent is it? 
20%. Now, did my price go up or down? Up. So it would be 20% increase. Twenty percent increase. Are we okay? Let's say Let's say when when I was your age. Oh combo number one used to cost so in let's say nineteen 99, a combo used to cost, let's say, $4. Yeah. What was in that combo? Now, in 2022, that same combo. Is that 99? Yeah, let's say $10. $10? $20? Okay. Now, so we're writing this down. I got rid of, like, all the word problem, because I could have written now, like, in 1999, the combo number one used to cost $4. Today, it costs $10. But let's just make it so to the point. So what's the formula? No, no. New minus old divided by old, right? Okay, see if you can plug in the numbers before I plug in your numbers. There's no calculators. What's the new price? What's the old price? What's the number at the bottom? So you're... I need you to start without me. I need you to figure out what's your new price, yeah. what's your old yeah. price, set it up for us. And then subtract. Yeah. <laughs> Plug in the numbers and subtract. <laughs> So what number do I write first? 10. Minus what? Over? Okay. First step, plug in your numbers. Second step, subtract. So what's 10 minus 4? 6 over 4. Now, what do I do? Angel, focus on this. Ruben, focus on this. Now what do I do? Set it equal to 100. Set it equal to 100. Okay, finish it out. Let's focus on this, not on your neighbor. You need to like try to do one step ahead of me. If you have your multiplication table, use it. This should be basic math. I need to feel like I need to feel like so four times what is one hundred? Okay, so multiply the top by twenty-five. Angel, four times what? Four times what is one hundred? Angel. Oh. Interesting. So what's your answer? Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Four times what is a hundred? Four times what? Four times what number is a hundred? Twenty. Nope. That gives me eighty. Well, let's focus then. Twenty-five. So six times 25, so like six quarters. Mylin, put your mask on. I need your mask on. I need your mask on now. 150. So what percent is this? Increase or decrease? Increase. Yep. 
saving the hair from going. Yep. Why do you say that? Ah, you just look fat. That's so gross. Yeah, you do. Yeah, 